with its military-grade aluminium frame and stealth fighter-inspired lines, the Trefecta DRT projects more of an aggressive image than most e-bikes. Now this is the kind of bike that Bruce Wayne might own if he decided to become an eco-conscious crime fighter, trading in his Batmobile for an e-bike, that is. But like the Caped Crusader, potential owners of this bit of kit will need pretty deep pockets. With a price tag of $25,000, it's the world's most expensive e-bike. That's a lot of cash, even for billionaire costumed vigilantes. Designed for on and off road use, the rider can use pedal power at low speeds, or if they want to take it easy, like me, twist the throttle on the handlebars and the electric motor kicks in. Riding this bike off road is when you get a real sense that it's a hybrid between a mountain bike and a motorbike. Mountain bikes obviously don't weigh that much, but are quite a bit of effort to ride off-road. A motorbike, on the other hand, is very easy to ride off-road, but its weight and the noise of the thing makes you kind of aware of the fact that you've got a lot of power that you can open up just at the twist of the throttle. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. It's equipped with a four kilowatt motor, which should propel it to a speed of about 45 miles an hour. Inside the frame is a lithium-ion battery, which should, if the rider can't be bothered to pedal, have a range of about 62 miles. It comes with a couple of different versions. There's one designed for use on the roads, which has restricted speeds, and then an off-road version, which is completely unrestricted and is effectively an e-motorbike. It's a bike which is pretty adept at handling the rough stuff, and it's not at all deterred by steep inclines, which is surprising, as the DRT was designed and manufactured in a country not exactly famed for its mountainous terrain. Holland. You've brought together different skills, haven't you, to help design the DRT? Absolutely. Uh, we got people from the aircraft industry and the automotive industry, and mix them together with mountain bikers, road racers, even BMX uh, champions. That has resulted in, in a completely different uh, category of vehicle, but still being very much a bicycle. So it goes like the clappers, so tell me when it kicks in. still rides like a mountain bike, and is going to be available later this year. Oh, and it costs as much as a car. An e-bike then, for those who money really is no object. <laughs>